If your car has a key fob, they want to steal your car. What will they do with this key fob programmer? They can program almost 70, 80% of the brands. He has that device where he unlocks the key fob. And from there, he hops into the car where police say they then deactivated the car's OnStar system. In this video, we're going to talk about the recent rise in car thefts. And it's not just Hyundai's and Kia's anymore. Let's get right into it. We had our keys right on the other side of this wall. Police are alerting residents about a new trend in car thefts that are impacting the community. Now, I know that this was happening big time, maybe a year or two years ago, but I didn't expect it to come back like this. Watch this. Thieves are now targeting Hondas in particular. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us live from Conshohocken with much more. Caroline. Well, Walter and Shari, police here in Conshohocken, they put out a warning last week. And since then, word about this has spread on social media. This is just the latest community in this area to be dealing with this issue. There's another warning in Montgomery County about an influx in car thefts. This time, the Conshohocken Police Department is sounding the alarm. Uh, am I concerned? Yeah, I'm concerned. Todd Smith is worried because police say most of the thieves target newer model Hondas like his and other cars with the push to start feature. Mark Petroski's brand new Honda CRV was stolen in July. Right before I left for the airport, I noticed the car was gone. Petroski says police told him the thieves were likely able to use the signal of his key fob to access his car. We had our keys right on the other side of this wall. So it's for sure far enough where like the cars won't unlock already, but they think that the thieves magnet by the signal, the key fobs to the point where it'll unlock and start the car. We reported on similar thefts back in April in Upper Marion Township. Police there say thieves targeted apartment complexes in the Gulf Mills area, stealing newer model Hondas in a matter of minutes. In nearby Bridgeport, police are giving out wheel locks to residents in an effort to combat car thefts. Back in Conshohocken, police are asking people to lock their cars, know where their key fob is, and invest in an anti-theft device like a wheel lock or a Faraday box to store your keys. It's like a metal box, okay. so it keeps the key fobs signals from getting right at all. Police say these boxes will block the radio frequency used by your keys to communicate with your car. Yep. Petroski bought one as an added layer of protection for his new car. Now, this isn't like the old school days where they would just bust your window, try to hotwire it. No, this is how they're doing it. Watch this. This handheld computer is a car key fob programmer, and it's what robbers are taking from mobile locksmiths at gunpoint in Milwaukee. The latest target was the driver of this unmarked locksmith van late Tuesday night. Fearing retaliation, the owner of Lucky Locksmith doesn't want to be identified. What happened with Tuesday night's robbery? As soon as my technician arrived on site, he got surprised by two armed men. At that point, they took all his belongings and stole the work vehicle. Thieves drove off with the key fob programmer and the van on North 36th Street, south of Hampton, just before midnight. The owner says you can still see the fingerprint dust from where police pulled evidence from the van last night. Just days before, armed robbers targeted this lucky locksmith van and one of his other technicians Friday night. And locksmith Diego Barrera is taking extra precautions after being robbed at gunpoint earlier this year. They pushed me back of the car, showed me the guy, he's gone. What will they do with this key fob programmer? Basically, they can program almost 70, 80 percent of the brands, Dodge, Ford, Nissan. Milwaukee police sent this bulletin to other police departments warning the equipment targeted has the ability to plug into any vehicle's ignition to program key fobs and override a vehicle's security system to start a vehicle. I, I need to be careful. In Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. Milwaukee police say car thieves have been using stolen key fob computers in the Chicago area since September of last year. They recode key fobs and bypass security systems on vehicles. Now, not all thieves are looking to rob someone at gunpoint, okay? But some people are going to say, you know what? Let me try my luck on this Amazon product. Watch this. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to do it. The tools are expensive, though, running anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars. They're often stolen by criminals looking to break into cars, but they're even available online. At BMI Memphis Sales and Service Center, owner Eric Shelton is usually busy, but today he's showing us the next front in the battle against car theft. With a little time and a few taps on a machine, I can actually write a new key in this. Your car's wireless system is deprogrammed 
with your key fob and connect it with another, what's known as programming. Breaking into a car and they're writing, rewriting the computer to recognize a new key. And your car is gone. Memphis police say they caught a couple of thieves using a key fob programmer to try to steal a car in East Memphis just this past weekend. More than 1,200 Infinities stolen last year alone and quickly. Two minutes, a minute and a half. I mean, they can get in and out while you're pumping gas. Smart code registration. He showed us how it's done using a plug found in most cars. Plug it in, do yeah. some stuff, yeah. and you got a car. Yeah. Now, you may be asking yourself, as a result of our story there, how you can protect your car from being reprogrammed. Experts we spoke to say it's tough, but still old-fashioned tools, a steering wheel lock, for example, do the trick. And By the again, way, if you haven't done so already, be sure to like, share, and a subscribe. growing trend of criminals using key fobs to break into or even steal your car. And now one man is sharing video and the story about how it happened to him. CBS 4's Deborah Severina is live in Southwest Miami Day to explain. Deborah, good morning. Good morning, Maribel and Nicole. You know, police say that it only takes a matter of seconds for this to happen. And what these people are doing is that they're trying to access your key fob. Now, we all know that as long as you're within a certain range of your car, you can use your key fob to lock and unlock your vehicle. Well, that's the technology that they're trying to tap into. There's a special device that's being used that is able to tap into the signal that your key fob is always transmitting. And using that device, they're going into cars and stealing them. Now let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Now in this image you'll see this man, he's holding a black box in his hand. That is the device that's being used to tap into the signal that your key fob is transmitting. Now that was a steal from a surveillance video and this all happened around 3 o'clock in the morning and in this surveillance video you can see one of the thieves sitting inside of the victim's 2020 Cadillac Escalade. He then calls over the person wearing the red hoodie. Now when that person, but before the guy with the red hoodie comes over, he has that device where he unlocks the key fob. And from there, he hops into the car where police say they then deactivated the car's OnStar system. A few moments later, they start the car and drive off. The reader, I'm told by the detectives that it is only, you can only acquire it by a, a car dealership. It's brand specific. Um, so that's why I didn't pick up the code from my wife's key, for example, so they knew that this was the car that they were going for. And so here's the thing, just like your key fob, the device has to be within a certain range for it to work. So you saw the guy standing very close to the home. And in this case, the victim says he would often keep his keys right near the entrance. And so that's how that device was able to easily pick up that signal. Now, one thing police say you can do is to keep your keys away from your front door. Another thing you can do to help yourself is to purchase an RFID box that you can use to put your key fob in. It blocks that signal so that no one can tap into it. And again, another thing to do, and if you are not able to get that box is to keep your keys away from the front of your home. Now, here are some easy credit tips that you should know if your car is stolen, okay? Number one, make sure that your credit is in order just in case your car is stolen. You will need to be at at least about a 620 or higher to get a decent interest rate right now, okay? Now, a decent interest rate is usually gonna be like not too high, like probably in the teens, uh, trying to avoid the 20s. I know everyone's situation is gonna be a little bit different and I know y'all gonna be on me in the comments, okay? But everyone doesn't have great credit. And you need to know with a, a 620, not only can you get approved, but you have a, a decent interest rate that's okay enough to refinance what they've been about, I would say about six to 18 months, as I'm gonna mention, okay? So also, if your score is under 620, do not panic, okay? I will give you an option that helps people qualify for bad credit auto loans nationwide, okay? And like I mentioned, be prepared to refinance within six to 18 months as the interest rates will be better around this time anyway, okay? Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, Calvin, wasn't that just Kias and Hyundais? If I don't have those cars, I don't have to worry, right? No, you're actually wrong. Let me show you this chart. So as you all can see here that these are the most stolen vehicles in America in 2023. Now this list has changed slightly in 2024 because everyone doesn't have these cars. But let me tell you something, like I said, if you have a key fob or if your car has a key fob essentially and it has a push button start, it's more than likely gonna be on the list. Number one is the Chevrolet Silverado 1500. Number two, Kia Soul. Number three, 
Honda Accord. Number four, Honda Civic. And of course, number five, a Kia Forte. And again, this is just the top five. Now, as we also mentioned, if your credit score is under 620, listen, don't panic. There are some options for you, okay? This company right here, we've sent a lot of people to them, especially a lot of people that's watching all of our other videos. They've had great success with these bad credit auto loans nationwide. To learn more about this, okay, you can go ahead and scan this QR code right here, and we're also gonna put the link inside the description below. Now, if you're also in a situation where later down the line, you want to lower your car payment, essentially refinancing your auto loan, then you can go ahead and scan this QR code on this side to learn more about this. By the way, you don't have to have your car stolen in order to go ahead and take advantage of lowering your car payment okay you can scan the qr code and you can get more information with no impact to your credit score hope this helps now if you or someone that you know has had their car stolen if it was one of the vehicles on the list or if you've seen this in your neighborhood or if you've had your car stolen let us know inside the comment section below so we can kind of better prepare everyone that's watching this video thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video